Hello everyone, this is Mike. Welcome to my channel, Mike the Tech Savvy. This is the first video I filmed in 2018. So I'd like to start off by wishing you a belated Happy New Year and a great 2018. I will surely make a lot of exciting videos this year, so stay tuned. We'll start off with a very interesting and quite surprising, I might add, Android 8.1 Oreo 4D International Samsung Galaxy S7. Here I have a standard G930F Galaxy S7. I've used this ROM as a daily driver for the last couple of days and I'm really really impressed by it. What I really like about the ROM is the simplicity and the fluidity at the same time. It's unbelievably fast. The camera works perfectly. Everything works perfectly. The battery life is very very decent for such an early build and I haven't seen any major bugs so far. Let me just get you through the installation and then we'll have a deeper look inside this ROM. One last mention is that you already have the January security patch level. Let me now just put TWRP. So what you'll need are of course a few files and TWRP recovery must be installed. The latest version is preferred. So power of the device boot into TWRP by simply pressing volume up, home key and power at the same time. TWRP will now be launched. Here we go, the latest 3.2.1 version. So if you have an earlier version, just download it from a site I'll be linking in the description from the official TWRP site. Copy it onto the device and go to install, install image and you'll find it in that folder. Of course, you'll need a full wipe before installing this Android 8.1 ROM. So go to wipe, advanced wipe, select Dalvik, system data and cache and then swipe to wipe. Afterwards, simply go to install. I will link the last Lineage OS 15.1 zip file in the video description. Also, I'll give you a link for the latest unofficial OpenG apps for Android 8.1 because the official OpenG apps for this Android version hasn't been released yet. I have tried installing the latest Magisk and it works just fine as well. So the normal procedure here is to select the Lineage OS zip file first and then swipe to confirm flash. After it's done, just flash the OpenGFs package with the same method and the Magisk zip file as well. After all these three steps are done, you're ready to reboot into system. You will see this marvelous Lineage OS boot animation. The ROM boots up really fast. One uh, quick word of warning after the initial boot you will get the setup wizard first just make sure you go through it really fast without actually entering a wi-fi network or the google account because it seems like if you wait too much in that setup wizard you will get uh, infinite boot loops so it will go into setup wizard stay there for like 5-10 seconds and then restart afterwards the same thing so just go through it really fast and you can add the Google account and the desired Wi-Fi networks later on after you've seen the default launcher. This is how the ROM looks like. Of course you have all the Lineage OS cuties such as the caffeine toggle here and this very fast launcher. Let me just show you a couple of benchmarks that I did. So in Antutu a score of almost 130,000 right where it should be and in Geekbench the scores are very good as well in CPU you have these scores which are pretty good I'll show them to you right now so this is the reference Samsung Galaxy S7 and in Compute this is the score that I've obtained once again better than the standard Samsung Galaxy S7 you may have already noticed that the ROM is really, really fast, way faster than anything based on Samsung stock ROMs. Internet speed is really good. I haven't noticed any other bugs except that setup wizard one at the start. 
What I really like about this one is that you don't have to press the home key if you have the fingerprint unlock. You only need to slightly tap on it and the device will unlock. So this is really nice. I'm not really sure why Samsung hasn't done this. There's not much to say. The battery life is pretty good. So overnight, probably I lost about 2-3% with the Wi-Fi turned off. But this device is not brand new, so it's kind of normal. Of course, the battery life is not better than on a stock Samsung ROM, but I think it's similar. And given the fact that you have a lot more free storage, you have Android 8.1 quite a stable one I might add you also have the January security patches and the lightning fast device I believe it's really really worth it as this ROM develops I will probably post more videos about it if you're looking for a refresh on your now two year old flagship this is a great way to go all the necessary links will be placed in the video description below so if you want to pull the trigger you're most welcome to do so Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please do press the like button. If you'd like to see more similar videos in the future, also press the subscribe button, which will be displayed in the bottom left part here. This was Mike the Tech Savvy. Once again, I wish you a great 2018. See you next time. Bye.